Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can print web pages in Microsoft Edge to a connected printer, or you can even print them as PDF files. To print a web page in Microsoft Edge, open the web page to print and click the More Actions button at the right end of the command bar at the top of the window. Select the Print command in the flyout pane that appears to open a separate printing window that shows the name of the web page in the title bar at the top of the window. In this new printing window, you can see the printing settings at the left side of the window and a preview of the printout at the right side of the window. First use the printer drop-down to select the printer you want to use to print the web page. The choices that follow will vary depending on the printer you select. To print the web page as a PDF, select an available PDF printing choice, such as Microsoft Print to PDF, if available. After selecting a printer, choose the additional printing settings below the printer drop-down. For most paper printing, you can type the number of copies to print into the Copies field, or click the adjacent minus and plus buttons to decrease or increase the number of copies entered into the field. Use the Pages drop-down to select which pages to print. You can select All to print all of the pages. To print only the currently displayed page, select the Current Page choice instead. To print a specific range of pages, choose the Page Range Choice and then enter the Page Range into the adjacent Range field that appears. You can enter sequential pages to print separated by a hyphen. For example, to print pages 1 through 3, you could type 1 hyphen 3 into the Range field. Microsoft Edge cannot print non-sequential pages. You would need to print non-sequential pages in a separate print job. To change the magnification of the printed material, you can use the Scale drop-down to select the magnification level at which to print. The default choice is Shrink to Fit, which shrinks the page content to fit it on the paper size you select. You can set the general width of the margins by making a choice from the Margins drop-down. The choices are Normal, Narrow, Moderate, and Wide. You can use the Headers and Footers drop-down to select whether or not content within the headers and footers in the web pages should be printed. If left off, they will not be printed. You can click the More Settings link to open yet another window that will show you any printer-specific printing options. The choices shown in this window will vary based on the printer you selected from the printer drop-down. The options will also be grouped into categories such as Page Layout and Paper and Quality or Output Options. Common options found within this window include Orientation, which lets you select either Portrait or Landscape Page Orientation, Size, which lets you select a paper size, and Type, which lets you select the type of paper to which you will print. After setting any options for your selected printer, click the OK button within this window to close it and return to the previous printing window. Before you send the print job to the selected printer, you can preview the content by clicking the left pointing and right pointing arrows that appear above the preview of the web page at the right side of the printing window to move backwards and forwards through the pages shown in the preview. This allows you to inspect them before printing them. If you are printing the web page to a standard paper printer or photo printer, you can then click the Print button in the printing window to start the print job. If you selected a PDF printing option from the Printer drop-down, then click the Print button to automatically save the print job as a file within the Documents folder. A flyout notification will often appear in the lower right corner of your Windows screen telling you that the file has been saved to your Documents folder. You can click the flyout notification to open the PDF and view it. Alternately, you can also view and manage the PDF files within your Documents folder by using the File Explorer window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.